Hello everyone and welcome back to Webtoon Rant. Today we will talk about Hero Killer and Hero Killer is one of the best webtoons I've ever read so far and let's get right into it. So the basic plot is based around this girl whose sister got killed in a world where heroes are very very corrupt. Therefore she has decided to become justice and hunt down the heroes, hence the name Hero Killer. And I thought it would be a very typical heroes versus villains trope, like Villain to Kill, for example, which is a B tier that I recently reviewed. And it very much is not. You know, and when I first read this, I was like, you know, it'll be similar to the boys in the sense that the heroes are the bad guys. It'll be, it'll be like a typical uh, heroes are the bad guys, villains are the good guys, you know, the absolute lack of morality with everyone. And it's like, oh, you know, like it's some typical hero versus villain shit where the villains are more moral and heroes have this dilemma, dilemma, bit moral dilemma. Well, nope, that's not how it is because everything is so deep. The world building depth is crazy. The entire concept of heroes and villains are a facade that the author put out as a typical cliche to draw people in. It's a trap. Because it's not about heroes versus villains at all. It's about these massive forces of people, of these mysterious beings and different kinds of superpower beings within the world who had this ancient conflict ages ago. And they created this concept of heroes and villains for fun so that they could have fun with it. And that became somehow a war and that became this general conflict. And the main character, although she believes that she's simply fighting a, a society that is corrupted by heroes, she's in fact fighting something much, much bigger. Something that we as readers, as myself, who's actually written the most recent episode in Korean, we, we don't even know what it is. And the fact is, the, the reason why this webtoon is so compelling is because the absolute fucking lack of exposition. And I believe this is one of the most common mistakes that any webtoon or anime for that matter makes pretty early on, which is they, they spam a bunch of exposition in the middle at the start, blah, 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 blah. And we, we feel like, you know, they tell us everything so we know what's going on, but sometimes it's good that we don't know what's clearly what's going on, you know? Like, right now, like, we we aren't told who which, uh, what the world is, worldly is. Like, we don't know who who the big, big bad is. We don't see a true moral dilemma. We don't know who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. We don't know. We didn't even know who was the leader of the hero clans until, like, a day ago. So, the fact is, there's almost a lack of exposition that is unnatural. And even the exposition done is done at natural timings when that information is needed or as a hint towards the reader so they can figure it out. It gives you a sense of fulfillment yet gives you a sense of depth as well. There's so much more to see. And that's amazing writing. And for example, one of the things that I really like about this is we, we know that there are nine nine elders, nine, these powerful beings that are like super overpowered and they're like the kings of this world. And they're kind of above the hero villain patriarchy thing going on in society. And the thing is like, we didn't even know that there were nine of them until the most recent episode in the elder meeting. And in fact, we didn't even know that what the elders were and what they were defined as. We just knew them as super powerful beings, which is probably what the normal people, the people who aren't heroes or villains or don't have superpowers or commoner citizens probably know about anything really about this situation. And I love that we're in the perspective of the normal citizen looking into the supernatural lives of heroes and villains and in a much larger secret conflict than that, where the morality of heroes and villains are in fact not heroes or villains at all and it's just slow introduction close to no exposition everything feels so natural the powers are super interesting the artwork is amazing and the action sequences are just great which i will show an example of now and again i just want to mention that this depth is just created by the a lack of exposition or or the or master for use of exposition you could say and the fact is it's amazing it really is one of the greatest webtoons of all time. And like this, look at the art. Okay, I'm not I'm not even gonna talk about anything. Like, look at the art. It looks amazing. It's so aesthetic, it's so artistic. And the facial expressions of this character Victoria I absolutely adore. 
and it just looks so goddamn cool and it's so aesthetic and it fill and it and it absolutely absolutely fits the general theme of dwarf tone as well and enhances your experience rather than hinders it like it's like it's like you know usually webtoons have flashy drawings that takes away from the story but the this webtoon no it's an enhancement it's the thing that enhances the experience and actually that's rarer than you would think and it's just amazing and these depictions of these various powers and the fact that we don't get an explanation of what this guy's power is we know it's cool blood magic swordsman shit but like holy crap we don't even know what this is but we're looking at it and we can figure it out and because we don't know there's such great depth to it and because of that i would highly recommend hero killer to literally anyone because you know if you like the trope of oh heroes versus villains blah 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 and you like dc or marvel you kind of start the series and go okay okay cool um cool like you know it's the typical trope and then you go deeper and deeper into the series and you realize that not all is as it seems. And I just think that's amazing. And because of the masterful world building, the fact that it's done so well and the perfect execution of everything, I give this one an S tier. Yup, it's been a while, but this is an S tier. Hero Killer would highly recommend to anyone. Literally so great. And although its subtlety might, might, people might question because of its subtlety and its mastery, why I put it in S tier, it becomes pretty apparent once you actually read it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This was Webtoon Rand. Goodbye.